Hey, I'm Michelle with Michelle Loves Books. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have my makeup all done up. This would be my anti-hero makeup look, I think. So yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with that. This is a color, um, it's like a little shadow pot of purple that I used to wear all the time in high school and I still happen to have it all these years later. I used to wear purple all the time and now I wear like more natural colors. This would be my, my anti-hero look. As you can tell, this is a TBR video for the Biblio Games. The Biblio Games are created by Myona at Little Wolf Reads, and it is a month-long readathon from June 1st to June 30th. Basically, everyone who wants to participate breaks up into teams. They are superhero-based. So you have heroes, anti-heroes, sidekicks, and I forget the other ones. But I will link the video below so you can go check that out. The goal here is that the team who reads the most pages wins and also just have fun. This room is super echoey so this room is supposed to be my office and it is a complete and utter wreck. There's a bunch of boxes and stuff in this closet and just stuff laying out everywhere. So it's very echoey in here. Anyways, um, so there are reading challenges and the reading challenges are kind of like classes from classroom because I guess this is based off of a TV show kind of called Sky High. I've actually never heard of this show. So as with all readathons, there are some guided reading challenges to do and I always like to use these as a base for what I'm going to read. However, I am kind of a mood reader and a lot of times I don't make it through that TBR. The team that I chose is Antiheroes. I think I've already said that. I don't know, I always just kind of like the anti-heroes because I feel like they have a lot more complex reasons for doing the things that they do. I think that they're very self-serving. Sometimes they don't always choose the good side or the bad side. They choose the side that serves them at that time for their own fulfillment or um, what, whatever's best for them. And I always found that very interesting. I always think that the, I'm, I'm that kind of person. I won't just, I can just identify with that kind of characteristic and the reasons or motivations behind doing things that sometimes are morally gray. I personally feel like I am an anti-hero in any kind of hero story. That's why I chose anti-hero group. The first challenge is homeroom and this is the group book. The anti-heroes group book is Renegades. I think that this book is Super perfect for this readathon. I did actually listen to this on audiobook a long time ago. I never felt like I got everything out of it that I could have, so I'm very excited to go ahead and read the physical copy of this book. The next challenge is Jim. It's to read a book from a format that you don't typically read. This was actually kind of a challenge. I always struggle the most to read ebooks, and I was going to choose an ebook. But I also figured I needed to be realistic. Every time I choose an ebook for this type of challenge in every readathon, there's always a like read a different format challenge. And I always choose an ebook and I completely forget that I even have it. So I decided I'm not going to pick an ebook. I ended up picking up Illuminate. The the reason I chose Illuminate is because while it's still like a physical book, this book is actually told in different documents. Yeah, and it's also kind of, there's like a text message page in here. There's like posters. Um, yeah, so this would be considered a different form. Oh, this is a cool page. This would definitely be considered a different format. So this is the one that I'm going with. However, my family and I, since we have moved from Florida, we, we go to a lot of theme parks, standing in lines waiting to get on the ride, and that would be a perfect time to pull out an ebook in while you're waiting in line. So I may actually go ahead and choose an ebook as well. You know, it was kind of interesting because my husband and I, we have season passes, so we go a lot and sometimes we'll go and just ride like two rides and then call it a day and go home before it gets too hot and there gets too many people. But we were standing behind this woman and her son. She just looked like a pro. You could tell, like, they come all the time. Her son, I think, was, like, playing on maybe his phone or something, and she was reading a book on her phone. And I thought from that moment on, I was like, this is perfect. While the kids are out for summer and we just need to get out of the house, like, I'm just going to come and read while my kids are riding rides. And I still always forget, though. Like, we'll, st we'll be standing in line, you know, just chatting or I'm trying to entertain the kids because, like, they're getting bored just standing in line. So I'm going to try and put that into a different practice. I haven't chosen which ebook I want to read. The next challenge is for lunch, and this is to choose a book with a satisfying ending. 
Now, a lot of people are saying that they, how are they supposed to know if the ending is good or not? So I chose something a little bit different for this challenge. Instead of a book per se, I'm choosing Crooked Kingdom for this challenge because A, I'm pretty sure that the ending is going to be awesome, but it's also the very end of a, a series. I really hate to like read one book and then go eventually like a year or two later to pick up another book in the series and I've completely forgotten the details of the first book. I like to marathon read the series that I'm reading. So I read the Grisha Trilogy and then I immediately picked up Six of Crows and now I'm reading Crooked Kingdom and I'm almost finished with this book. There's like 70 pages left. I don't think that I will end up finishing that today, which is the 30th. So I think I can end up finishing it tomorrow. But this will conclude that. Actually, it won't completely conclude it because King of Scars is out. It is the close of a series, and so I think that that would be very satisfying. Not that I'm not absolutely adoring this universe and wouldn't stay here for eternity and would not, like love to just move into Ketterdam and join the dregs, but the fact is, is I do kind of also want to move on to other series. Like I want to read the Luminae series. I want to read... A Court of Thorns and Roses, Thorn of Glass. So it is time for me to leave Ketter Dam and move into a new universe. So that would be very satisfying to finish this. These next three challenges are exclusive for the Antihero group. The next challenge would be Alter Ego. Oh, let read a book from... I don't know why this... Read a book that another team member chooses for you. I'm leaving this one open. Honestly, I'm really not sure what I want to read. I might end up asking people on Twitter later on or kind of piggybacking off someone else's recommendation or I might just, you know, read whatever I want. <laughs> because hello, anti-hero, we're just, we don't take other people's advice very well, we just do what we want, right? I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do what I want. The next challenge is Moral Ambiguity. Read a trashy YA novel. For this one, I picked up Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. This is the first in a vampire series. I've had this book for a really long time. I've wanted to read it because after Twilight, I decided I wanted to read all the vampire books I could get my hands on. So I ended up picking up the first Vampire Diaries. They had made the TV show. Unfortunately, that book was so terrible, I picked it up three times and had to DNF it. Like, I was determined to keep reading that book because I loved the show so much and uh, I could not get through it. The main character was so horribly annoying, I couldn't do it. And then I picked up Morganville Vampires. Morganville Vampires. And I listened to the first one. This was like ages ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, a year ago to a year and a half ago, I read the first of the Morganville series. That was another one. I could not get into it. So I am moving on to this one and we're going to see how this goes. I found most of the collection, I think all but one, like right in the middle, uh, for really cheap at the thrift store and I ended up picking them all up. Whether or not I knew I was going to like it or not, we're going to see how this goes. And the last challenge is Witty Banter 101 class. You're supposed to pick a book with comedy. For this one, I'm choosing King of Scars. I have a reason why I'm doing this. So I don't know if this is... So this book, King of Scars, follows our king, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but he is introduced in Siege and Storm, which is the second book in the Grisha Trilogy. And if I finish this book, I will be completely caught up for this universe. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a number two book of this. I think she said there was one. But anyways, the character who plays our king was introduced in Siege and Storm. In that book, he was like the perfect comedic relief. However, he went through some serious shit. I would not be surprised if he hasn't lost that wittiness and carefree character that he had back then. So I'm really, really hoping that he hasn't completely, although it would be completely justified. This is going on the hopes that he's still a really fun character to read from his perspective. So I'm not 100% sure whether or not this is going to have comedy or not. Hey, I'm an anti-hero and I do what I want. And also the reason why I did this with this challenge is because I really want to get up to the the latest book in the Grisha universe. So that would satisfy that for my own purposes. This is definitely a book I was planning on picking up right after I finished Crooked Kingdom. Thank you all so much for watching my TBR video and I can't wait till tomorrow to start reading and counting those pages. Good luck to everyone else who is participating and I do plan on coming back to film weekly reading vlogs for the month of June. Hopefully I will see you in about a week with an update.